In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and breaking down exactly what goes through my mind whenever I play a live game of Weekend League in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be running the trips tight end on the offensive side of the ball and I'm going to be running the uh, nickel 335 wide on the defensive side of the ball and if you want to get both the offense or either the offense or the defense then you can get those in the description of this video now um, you're going to see that i'm going to run a lot of quick base going to run a lot of like short passing concepts i've got the new golden ticket aaron Rodgers, which i'm super super stoked about just because of his ability to just make simple reads uh, and just be able to make every throw. That's what I like about him. Um, he just has the best passing animation in the game. And the cool part is with the golden ticket card, you're going to notice that he's got escape artists and all of that stuff because of the, the ability to save some cap or uh, to save some AP points right off the bat. So it looks like my opponent's going to be in 335 wide. That's always something you want to look at. The other thing you want to look at is on this left side, you're going to notice that there's no, uh, there's no like ability point on that linebacker. And that was just bad run stick right there. That was really, really bad. Um, kind of getting going here, but really, 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 really poor run stick. Um, and I also got this golden ticket, Calvin Johnson, which he is so much bad. Like he's such a good tight end, uh, perfect for the offense that we want to run. Just being able to, you know, you leverage the, the tight end here. We need to get this playoff and got a nice little easy read to Zeke Elliott on that left side with that wheel route. And Rogers is going to start the game one for one. Real quick, um, like I said, if you want to get the exact offense that I'm using, you can get that in the description for just 10 bucks. If you want to get the defense, um, it's actually 15, but it's been the best defense like literally all season long. Haven't changed, pretty much been in that all year, um, and it's just been the best defense that you can possibly have. So uh, right here, I'm gonna, that's probably a bad throw. Yeah, a bad lead. I thought he was in a, I thought he was in a hard flat. Um, looks like he was in a cloud flat. So bad read by me, and we're off to a little bit of a rocky start here on offense. And this is huge. I talk about this every Inside the Mind video that I do, about the importance of kicking the ball if you possibly can. So I obviously lost the toss, and he ended up making the decision like wisely uh, to do just that so that you get this situation right here that happens. I mean, if you make one mistake on offense, you could be you know in a lot of trouble. So uh, anyway, right here... Uh, I form wing gonna got you gotta completely expect stretch and looks like that's I don't know if he's running I think he's got to be running a, a Broncos theme team potentially um, so we just got to kind of watch out um, if he goes under center uh, this is just my policy <laughs> literally my policy on people if they go under center they're gonna get user rushed out of their mind um, I just don't I don't tolerate under center I don't um, and three three five wide this is why it's so good if anyone ever ever tries to pass from single back or from iPro or whatever, you are going to rush their heads off. You're going to literally instantly sack them almost every single time. As you can see, we show you exactly how to do this in the guide. And you see right there, we're just not gonna tolerate it. You have to go to shotgun. You have to actually, you know, stand in the pocket, make a read and do something. And we're just not gonna tolerate under center. As you can see right there, good defense. We're gonna be able to get the ball back and uh, have another opportunity to make up for that mistake on that bad read. So, you know, you just see, I mean, it's not going to tolerate under center. Like, we will not tolerate it. If they, if they run under center, it's literally a policy that I have. If I see someone run under center, I will rush the crap out of them every single time because under center just doesn't help. It, it's, it's very difficult to pass from under center if they blitz. Um, it's always been like that, but it's really like that this year. Um, but it has always been, you know, kind of similar. And to be honest, that's actually why the shotgun offense was actually created. So anyways, here, we'll see what he does. See how he kind of handles uh, this passing concept. Got a nice little dot over the top. And we almost threw another interception. Man, I don't know. All right, so if he's going to run cover two, we're just going to have to go to um, to this beater. I mean, we just have to. If he if he's gonna stay in cover two so much, we have to go to this concept. 
try to hit the, the square receiver. And then he shifts, of course, to cover three. So good job by him mixing up his defenses on that outside. Shifts to Mike, Bl Mike Blitz three. So now what we'll probably see is we'll probably see cover two again. So you just have to kind of anticipate it. If you look at the corner on the left, you can kind of read it a little bit. Um, but it, obviously, you know, they can mix their coverages. They can make adjustments. There's all, all kinds of things the defense can do. So you can kind of have a pot hypothesis. But here he is going to go back to that cover two. Um, we get a little bit of a bad throw. I don't know if Rodgers get a little bit of a bad animation, I think, on the receiver. But it is what it is. So let's see if he – we're going to kind of stay with this cover two beater. Um on the on this on this back side but what we're going to do on this right side is we're going to work that post and that that wheel concept so like this right here concept really simple but if he's gonna you see you there see see that right there nice little easy read and there you see that's where rogers is so good he can pass lead literally pass lead receivers open if they even have like a little step of space that's why i like it so much one of the things that I'm trying to do a little bit better, and one of the reasons why I like trips tight end so much is because of the spacing that it allows you to have as an offense. Um, it allows you to run trips, but it also allows you to basically run, you know, gun doubles or gun spread. And so I really like having the, that, that ability. Uh, right here, we're gonna go double hitches with the wheel. We're kind of expecting some pressure here. So we'll just kind of see. Um, and the beauty of this is if, um, I haven't talked to, actually haven't talked about this concept. Let's run that one more time. Uh, I really like this concept, so here's why. So on the left side, if they play, um, like if they play like what they've been doing, and I'm actually gonna motion circle. Yeah, I'm gonna motion circle. So if they play underneath, you'll see that read is super smooth. Easy read against cover two. This is becoming a really good concept. We're kind of honestly making it up a little bit as we go. But that concept is actually becoming really, really powerful. Okay, so right here, we're gonna put Woods here. We need to put Calvin here. And then we're gonna put, um, yeah, Kittle there. So what I like to do is I like to set up this I-form uh, type formation. I think it's one of the better uh, under, center, under center runs in the game. And here, uh, you know what, we're just gonna take a timeout. And honestly, it's just, just because I haven't figured out how to set these formations up super, super fast, I really wish they would let you come in with, with everything set up. But you'll see, we're gonna set up our goal line, but you, uh, contrary to popular belief, what I actually like to do um, down here is sub in, uh, if I can, uh, sub in Derrick Henry there, and then Zeke on this side of it. And then I'm gonna flip the play, and I'm gonna, uh, maybe. Where's the mesh play at? I need to find the mesh play. There we go. There's mesh, and then I need uh, one other play. Let's just do Pat's curls, um, and then come out of the halfback wheel. So what I like to do is just come down and do this under center. You see how quick of a scene, and it's really a quick audible. Um, they can get to it relatively quickly, and then you can just kind of pop them. What I like about this is you really set yourself up for a really easy um, you know, potential read potential couple different options that you can have. So if I'm in this set and he does something like this right here, showing that showing shows me that he's gonna blitz, probably gonna be a potential heavy, heavy pressure, then I can do essentially double wheels with a hitch. Really, really good concept. Um, I can even take a corner. And you see right there in the back of the end zone, I can hit that wheel route. So that's why I like that concept. It's, I'm still working on that, but I really like split close in the red zone because for several reasons, but because it's such a seamless audible from split close to eye tight or to goal line, even if even if, if I were to, you could also do the same thing out of goal line. It's honestly probably a little bit better if you were to do that, um, but it's such a quick little audible and I love having the ability to have you know, just some easy routes that I can put on the field from split close that are going to typically do a pretty good job against any kind of goal line red zone style defense like you just saw right there. We've got some of the, you know, traditional really good co passing concepts from the red zone to be able to, to, to capitalize on. So, so good job on offense. Kind of make up for that first drive. You see here that he's going to shift to the pistol. Um, that's kind of my cue. Okay, uh, maybe he's going to do something different. So we're going to go kind of with a traditional little Mabel coverage here uh, and just see. And oh, 
man, I, all I gotta do is hit triangle right there and get a, put, uh, a pick. One of the other things that you'll notice, like when someone like, kind of the, just the style that this guy's using, um, tells me that I might be able to just play a little bit simple um, with spies. You see here, just the under center stuff. Um, I don't like that my seam flat blitzed at all. I do not like that at all. Um, don't feel like that's what I asked him to do. I asked him to play his own. Um, okay. So right here, see if he runs the same concept. Looks like that's his move. He is just going to run quick slants and quick snap it and do that, and that's going to be his job. So we're going to play just bounds defensively. Um, another defense that I like to go to against someone, and you see here, going back to under center. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back, and I'm going to blitz the living daylights out of him if he throws the ball he's gonna get blitzed every single time see it's, it's borderline he literally threw the ball almost as soon as he snapped it and he still couldn't get it off that's why this defense is so good and that's i literally it's just like dude you're not gonna run under center you gotta either figure out how to block this um which there are ways there you see and there you see good job he blocked it so good job okay um but you know i mean you just gotta figure it out and we'll mix it up on him a little bit we're gonna shade inside this time and we're going to be able to get a nice little pick on the outside. He thought he had a step. We're able to get a nice little user pick. And now we get the ball with two minutes. Now, I talked a little bit about the fact that I don't like the fact that we got the ball first. I actually hate getting the ball first. Just seriously, never is a good move for me. I, I don't like it at all. <laughs> um, I just don't. So we're going to be able to have an opportunity to put some more points on the board. So really, really important that we execute here. Um, there, a nice little check down to Zeke. We're going to take a timeout right there just so that we can get our trips kind of reset a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to attack. I actually really like the concept that we were running uh, with this post and then these two hitches. Like, this is a pretty smooth little concept here with the wheel. And you'll see you're just snapping it right there. Uh, but what I like about it is oh, shoot. I threw another. Man, he's doing some weird defenses. And I'm going to give him a free seven. Man, that's so bad. He, like, literally just ran cover three stock. He literally just ran cover. Like, come on, man. So, on that one, that's on me. I mean, you know, I the, I thought that yellow was sucking down on the, on the uh, hitch. And he kind of started to. And then he jumped back on the post. So, good job by him. All right, so on this drive, now we've gone from like scoring being nice to scoring being absolutely essential for us to have a, sh have a good chance to win this game. I mean, I don't feel like his offense is very good, so we can kind of deal with that. We're going to go to a little bit more of a simple concept. What I like about this concept, this is like more of a meta setup. This is just good. Like for so someone like this that's just running like stock coverages, uh, this is just really good because he can't defend the crosser and the, and the dig route as you see And we're gonna be able to get ourselves in a decent position. I mean, he's just not he's not doing zone drops He's not doing any of that stuff. So And right here, uh, we're gonna try Yeah, we're gonna try to go to a cover three bomb play um, Just to see if we can hit it The circle receiver should get open over the top yep touchdown so you see there's a little cover three bomb from trips tight end the beauty of trips tight end is it can literally just do it just has it, it, it combines phenomenal routes with phenomenal spacing and some it, it gives you these uh, what I call Archimedes levers so it gives you critical critical levers to do things so for example, having a tight end that you can put on a smart routed corner route like we can from curl flat and just cook main coverage, especially cover, like if they're in cover zero, that will kill it, especially with the new Calvin Johnson. Um, having the ability to have an S post, really, really good. Um, so things like that, that's what I'm kind of getting at. You know, having a crosser, having the ability to have a tight end that you can end the running back on the same side so that you can delay fade, um, I think is really, really important as well. So here, again, he does that, we're going right at him. And, and okay, we're gonna throw it, you know, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust to that a little bit, because um, he's shown that that's his move. If we blitz everybody, he's just gonna throw it to the tight end instantly. So see here, we're gonna kind of bluff it. Now he's gonna throw it up to us again, and we're gonna take this ball 
And uh, now we have a chance to, oh, nice stick, able to get out. We might be able to outrun. We're going to really try, and we got a great return. So now we're in a good position. If he comes back out in stock cover three, now you got to think that you could see, um, actually have a pretty high likelihood that we could see some cover two. So we're actually going to go to this setup. This is really good still against cover three, but it's also good against cover two. Uh, this is just basically four verticals. But if he runs cover two, um, you'll see here, and he doesn't. So good job by him. We're going to do a little juke to get off that defender and get outside. And now we're kind of cooking with gas a little bit. I actually ran cover four on that play. Uh, interesting coverage for him. Now right here, you've got to, you've got to try that setup. Uh, we've got these two hitches, and I don't know if we want to do something different. Um, let's do that. This, this concept right here. Really looking for that cover two. No. Threading the needle there. We're going to go ho no huddle, hopefully get a spike off, and just take our three. Right here, the way the game's going, um, he can't win if, if we don't let him. Now, unfortunately, we called we accidentally called a play. I will say he's given us a great look to run our quick base run, but we're just gonna try to get, um, you know, just try to get a, a, a false start or something so we can get back and just kick kick our field goal. So defensively, like it, he's running three three five, he's running it really really weird. Um, he's he's running like I don't even know if he's I don't think I don't know he's kind of like doing zone drops and at the same time not doing them so um, i'm just not sure kind of what his defensive strategy is um he's not going to be able to take away like that's where it comes back to you have to if they're if they're going to play you like this then you have to play to to their coverage right so if they're going to give you the crosser you got to take the crosser um, to force them to stop giving it up and then to play a little bit more of what we were kind of expecting coming into this game most people We'll take the take. We'll play zone drops from the the jump, um, but this guy didn't do that. Oh, and he gets a great kick return. Oh, and he breaks three tackles, and um, so his two touchdowns have been a pick six and a kick return for a touchdown. So honestly, I think what we're gonna do if he does a go, for, I don't think he's gonna go for this. He shouldn't go for this. Um, I, I guess I don't know if I don't know if we hide ball on that. I can't remember. We normally hide kick it, so that kind of stuff doesn't happen. But I don't know. Good good play by him, I guess. Um, we've got to we've got to basically go down and, and get seven um, and kind of close this game out. This game's way closer than it should be, but it is what it is. So I'm trying to think here. We're actually going to be fine. We're just going to take the ball out of bounds. Reason why, I don't. I just don't really feel like he can stop us. Um, and I, and I know I've thrown two interceptions, but I just really don't feel like he can. Like this base run is going to be good for us, just because he's not really. Of course, as I see, it's the luckiest block shot I've ever seen. Uh, we're just going to pop this little bubble screen here and see how he's. See how he's going to handle this. This bubble screen requires very specific adjustments to to uh, beat it. Are we going to get a uh, legal? Wow, uh, Madden, can we please stop helping this guy? Oh my gosh, um, it's actually interesting. I would probably I would probably accept it, but it's probably honestly worse for him if he does accept it. Um, okay, so just I guess we just have to you just have to go to the go to the well. I mean. This is it's ridiculous that he's even sniffing a, snuff, a stop here. Rogers throws a laser. Rogers throws a laser, and Brandon Ayuk drops it. Awesome. Third and seventeen. Um, this is actually one of my favorite setups here. So uh, what I like to do is I'm gonna take triangle and put him on a drag. Squares on a dig, and then Moss. Um, is going to be on a curl, smart routed. Um, you could also put him on a streak if you wanted to. But if you watch this uh, corner route to Johnson, and eh, just the way he's playing, we're just gonna take the running back. We're actually gonna go for this. As this guy is just not, I mean, just really driving me nuts a little bit here, so. I'll come back and talk about that crosser. 
with that concept in just a moment. Just get the first down, please. Thank you. Okay, so this is a new combo. I'm gonna do a video on this display. This is actually something that I found. Um, honestly, messing around a little bit. I was kind of behind in the game, so I just kind of started labbing. But this concept right here is super, super good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that same concept that we've been using with the hitches on the backside. But what we're gonna do on the play side or on the, on the front side of this formation, if I can get this snapped, you'll see that this, um, and of course, as soon as I say that, he must've did something. Um, but, but you'll see that the running back should pull that cover three zone vertical. I think it may only work if they're doing specific zone drops but just something that you can kind of test out a little bit. So again, you'll see, this is kind of the concept. So we got our double hitches here and we're just gonna motion this other one over. We can't get a snap. We, uh, do we have chew clock on? I don't think we do. Madden has been so fr The play clock in Madden is insane. Like, I don't know, they, they don't give you any time to that. You get like these random things where it like super accelerates on you anyway there that's the read that's the read i mean he's just not he's just not doing anything to stop that like he's just not doing anything um i think it's because i ran so you can actually do this and play really basic on the left so you see his double hitches but if you watch this corner around on the right, it should get open. Uh, just the way he's playing, though, it's going to follow in. Because he's literally not doing anything. He's literally not doing anything. I just don't want to give him the ball back. Just because I want to... I don't know. I just don't want to risk another kick return or something. But, I mean, we could probably score it on that same route that we were talking about. Um, not one play touchdown. We could probably call that and we probably score. Right here, just gonna try to get it with the base. I just don't think you can stop the base, yeah. Um, okay, so let me check my coaching adjustments. Make sure we're on conservative, we are on conservative. Um, so we got a first down and we're going. In, we're getting ready to shift into the fourth quarter. So we're just gonna kinda play a little basic. Honestly, it's, it's nothing too crazy. We'll use these motions um, just to kind of like in some fake hot routes here. But you see, just kind of diving down, taking five yards here, three yards there, forcing him to have to do something to stop this run, which he's done basically nothing. He's played the most. Um, like, I don't even. I, I, I'm just surprised. I just This guy's just playing really weird. Um, I mean, he's literally just coming out. I don't even know his usering. Um, like, I just don't have any idea. So, you see, like, he's using his middle linebacker, but he's not, like, putting him in a position to actually do anything. So, it's just kind of a weird defense that he's running. Um, a re he's running 3-3-5 wide, but he's running it kind of the weirdest way I've ever seen. Like, I haven't seen him make an adjustment yet. So, anyways, we're going to take the clock as much as we can. Remember, his offense is not that good. I don't really feel like he can score on us. So I'm not saying we're gonna settle for three, but I'm kind of okay. Um, especially, if, you know, as long as we don't give up another kick return, we're in pretty good shape here uh, at this point. Like, I just don't feel like he's in a good spot, just with the way his offense has been playing, to be able to just kind of play loose defensively. Like, he really does, because we're gonna put him in a position now, because we're definitely in field goal range, where we're just gonna try to take the clock and just kind of glide. We're not we're not gonna try to do anything too crazy as you can see. We're just going to base pretty much every time. Um, you're gonna see right here, we're gonna, we're gonna shift down to uh, split close. And we're just trying to, you know, just trying to kind of force him to, I don't know, just have to respect that a little bit. Here we'll be able to take it to the two minute warning right after this play. Power O, Henry did exactly what we needed him to do. Now, um, now this is whenever you're clocking, clock management, right? Um, one of the things that's really important is this down right here, second and inches, three timeouts, 30 seconds uh, a play clock. So you can take a minute and 30 uh, once you've got his timeouts taken away. So what I'm gonna do on this second and in, in inches is I'm just going to 
come out in um, in QB Neal or QB Sneak. Either one um, is probably going to be fine. With QB Sneak, though, you don't want to get it. It's kind of an art, but you really don't want to get this first down. What you want to do, um, and you'll see, I'm just going to do a little bit of a motion here. Because the running back really doesn't do anything. But if you just do this and just kind of like fall down. We're just trying to fall down. And I don't know if he's going to get it or not. I hope and he did get it, which is kind of bad for us, honestly. But we're just trying to take the clock. We're just trying to close the game out here. That's all we're trying to do. Um, we got really fluky scores, in my opinion. So that's all we're trying to do. Just take the clock. Easy, simple. And he's not in a really good run defense, honestly. So we have to be kind of careful. I thought we could like kind of angle this sneak, the sneak. He's not even calling a timeout. So I feel like I don't even know what he's doing, but he's not giving himself a chance at all. And that's fine with me. I mean, it is what it is. Here he's gonna go to goal line. See, if I was him, I'd be calling timeouts right here to, to kind of stop this. And you see, I mean, we're just, we're there. Now he's gonna start. So I guess what he's thinking is he'll save one of them, but You'll see like right here, third and goal. We know he's gonna go to a timeout after this. What we're actually gonna do if we don't get this, and we're just gonna go to fullback dive just because of the way he's playing. And Henry's just gonna walk right in. So if we didn't get that on that down, we were gonna come back out and like actually look at it and then see, just because I just don't feel like he's, the way he's playing offense and defensively, um, I just don't feel like he's got the defense for it. And so we're able to kind of close that out. You know, take, I think what happened, I can't remember. He got, oh yeah, he got ball at halftime and he ran a kickback. And then we were able to basically take the whole quarter um, or the whole third and whole fourth quarter just with clock management, playing rather t relatively simply. And, um, and now that leaves him with 53 seconds and down by two possessions. So it puts us in a great position to just be able to play, you know, very simple. Uh, I just like to go to cover two man, honestly, um, and just let these ends do their thing. They're isolated and one on ones, and you'll see we're just gonna kind of get back here. I've just I've never seen someone complete this. I've seen people come close, but it's all all fluke. And honestly, what you want to do is you don't even want to try to pick the ball off. Now, right here, um, this is another little strategy you can do. It's basically just user rushing around the edge here out of three through five. Um, it just puts them on a clock. It just speeds up the clock. So he has to kind of think about it a little bit. Um, another thing you can do, same kind of strategy, um, is to basically do it from three through five. So the cool part about three through five is you can do it, you can do it with less people. Um, you can also do the same concept out of big nickel. Um, the big nickel one is actually probably the best overall. And we'll show you the same thing. So again, it's just all we're doing is we're coming out and cover two man. And then what we're doing is we're taking the guy that's manned up on the on the running back, dropping him into a deep blue. And you can do it from, I think you can do it from almost any four down lineman set. But you'll see right here, we're just gonna run right around. And you see it just puts him on a clock and he has to roll out and kind of do some st extra stuff that you wouldn't normally have to do. And then as you can see, we're able to close that out. So uh, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you have not already become a true fan of the channel, you can do that by uh, joining below. Every single week you get access to three exclusive videos that I don't post on YouTube that detail, go in depth about high level Madden, kind of show you what the best of the best are doing and how to counter it. So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna become a true fan, that's down in the description. And if you wanna get the exact offense and defense I ran, those are available in the description.